right, folks. So this song that I'm about to do right here, it is requested by a patron, Teresa Anderson, and just says, Shine Down, How Did You Love? No link or anything, so I'm about to roll with what I come up with. All right, so give me a second. I think I found a video. It says official video. So all righty, and here you go. Oh, for muse of truth that we could descend into the darkest hells of our own inventions, a kingdom, a stage, a cave. You can never sound all the thousand voices calling your name. You can have the light. Another one with a really good message behind it, wasn't it? How did you love? You know, it, this what he says in here is so, I mean, so true. I mean, when it all comes down to it, that's going to be the biggest thing is how did you love? And that's one of the first things I always talk about on this channel, too. Am I uh, like when we all kind of get into discussions about uh, things that you can do? And I just kind of talked about this at a uh, an event that I was at where I talk about the best thing that you can leave behind is memories. And the best way that you can leave those memories behind is based off of how you love. And if you did love, eh, you wouldn't have no choice but to leave behind memories. God so loved the world that he gave. That's why that book's been around for so long. I know I've got to bring your, hey, if you look, you can, you know what you're getting into when you're watching my channel. So don't sit there and ask me or say to me, why do I not bring my religion? I, I, for one, I'm not religious. It's I have a relationship with Christ. But when you try to say religion, I hate when people throw that because then you try to put everybody under the same umbrella. I'm nowhere under no religious umbrella at all. Been in there before, but I'm not under there anymore. Anyway, my point in saying that is that don't complain about me bringing up my Lord, my Savior on my channel. In other words, don't get mad when you come into my house knowing that I am a Christian. And then you get mad when I talk about Christian related things. Yeah. Anyway, um, 
So what I was saying before is that the whole thing about love, you are remembered because it's based off how you love. That's why God is always a topic when it all comes down to a whole lot of different subjects. You know, people know that John three sixteen for God so loved the world, whatever like that, because it sticks, folks. Love sticks around like one of y'all famous Beatles. Y'all talked about John Lennon. He sang a song that was famous. All you need is love. That song was so famous because, I mean, when a dude came to the revelation of it, it's the flat out truth with all issues, all problems. If you love correctly, a lot of world issues would be solved. For instance, I'll give you an example. Yeah, I'm quoting Bible when it says love your neighbor as you love yourself. If you did that, we would have like a ton of issues eradicated right then and there. If you truly did love your neighbor as you loved yourself. You know what I mean? You wouldn't hurt yourself. You wouldn't commit adultery on your, you know, we all know what I'm getting at. You wouldn't steal, you know, you wouldn't want it. You know, in other words, you know, people say, yeah, just treat others how you want to be treated. No, I'm saying not treating wise because some people treat themselves badly. So if they treat them others like they treat themselves, then yeah. So my, my point is, but if you love though, see, love is unconditional. It has no conditions, which means you love in spite of where you know a person to be at love folks anyway i'm going to be on that i like this guy's voice i've always loved the voice since i heard his song uh second chance yeah and then he did uh simple man which you know i know some of y'all mad about that because i said to me in my opinion i like his version better than leonard skinner i know y'all go what in the world you lost your mind look to each his own folks it's okay you might think grilled chicken is the best i may think fried chicken is best now that we know that we just gonna leave it at that <laughs> i still think he did it better though y'all go, oh no he did not Fried chicken, grilled chicken, folks. Anyway, I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Hoping and praying that every last one of you guys have food, shelter, and clothing. And I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health. God bless you through Jesus. I'm a survivor. Fucking my life. So right here is most likely the next video that you're going to go to. If you are watching the premiere, this is going to lead you to the next reaction video. This one right here is most likely going to be the video you're going to watch that has stuff to do with me and my comedy stuff, different things that I do, all right? And don't forget to give it a thumbs up, folks, so the videos can be circulated, all right? Thank you. Let peace.